So wrecked. Oh, hey, the music changed. That must be a good sign. Luck capsule and a platinum band. All right. That is going to go to Neil. And get his defenses way up there. Who needs luck? I guess Fox. I don't actually know what luck does. Uh, so what, is the cave going to be empty now? That'd be helpful if it was, except uh, if I also lose access to all the presents. That would suck. Although if there's still present boxes, I don't think that's the case. And yeah, it looks like this cave's empty. So let's go back and see what that ladder was all about. Without having to worry about monsters this time. Oh god, which way? I think it's this way. And then up, yeah. And down through the ladder. And up again. Because if I never, if I, if I didn't get to this the, um, the other way before. Wait a minute. Where am I? Huh. I thought that led to an empty passage. Apparently I was wrong. Yeah, that just leads pretty much right back where you turned. So it was really kind of a shortcut. Oh well. I guess we got everything. And guess who's back to document it? Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, ready? Say a fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest... Bring back. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Dealt with your mole problem, bro. You've gotten rid of the monster? Good job. Okay, from here on, just let me dig. You'll see, I'll find the buried gold. Be so before I start digging, I'm going to set up a careful plan of action. You mean in case this happens again? And you find a bunch of... I don't know. Naked mole rats. That all want to be the fifth strongest out of seven. But that could never happen, right? Ooh, broken pipe. After being fixed, the broken... That's the thing I need. After being fixed, the broken pipe became the shield killer. I don't even know what the counter psi unit does. I'll go ahead and... Jesus Christ! I have $33,000. That is nuts. I don't even know what the hell to do about that. Let's see if he fixes the gadget. Nope. It might be a while before he fixes the gadget. But uh, we got him to fix the pipe. <laughs> pipe. Whoa, hello. And yeah. Oh, god damn it. Really? A hamburger. I'll take it. God damn.
Making me mad. Alright, well, I guess we go back to Foresight now. Hello? Fox, greetings! I'm George, Gerardo Montague's brother. Gerardo is in his mine, but he hasn't found any buried treasure yet. We did, however, find a diamond instead. Gerardo told me to give it to Fox. Here it is. Please take it. A diamond, you say? Well, I've got to go. I'm busy working at the other mine. Busy, busy, busy! Bye, George Montague. Thank you for the diamond. All right, and we're back in Foreside. Uh, what do I want to do first? Let's go see if the department store is open yet. I have a feeling it's not, but let's check. Nope, still closed. Still creepy. Got it. Well, I guess we'll go on into... The theater. Because if you haven't figured it out yet, this is what the diamond's for. A big, beautiful, and expensive looking gem. I think I already talked to him once. Although last time I talked to them and showed them like what I had, and they were like, holy shit! So let's do that again. Really? I can't do that this time? Oh god, I'm trapped. Okay. All right, I can't do that this time. So I guess we'll sit through another Runaway 5 show. I might skip it for y'all, since you already saw it. And I'm definitely not reading that again. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Thank you. 
Okay, got that out of the way. <clears throat> this was well worth my time. Let's go ahead and give this diamond here to this person here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Berry gold. Didn't find berry gold, but I did find this. What, what, what? I can't tell what it is from this distance. Bring it closer. What about this distance? Does this work? Nope. How the hell do I get behind you? I guess I go behind this? Yeah, okay. And then I use the diamond. <laughs> that, that, that diamond! You're gonna pay with that diamond? Uh, okay, Th that's fine. I'll rip up this contract. Rip. Don't tell anyone about the diamond. Now the Runaway Five are free. You should thank me. A diamond is worth maybe, maybe, fifty dollars. So I gave you a bargain. Thump, 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 thump. I made lots of money. Sorry about being such troublemakers. We won't be so gullible anymore. Well, our fans are waiting, baby. Let's just do this one last show and then get out of here. All right, thanks again. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what it's hot. Money, that's what I want. Money is what we ain't got set freedom. Freedom is what we really saw. And he does it again. And uh, Mario comes and gets him. Thank you, Mario. I made so much money I can hear my heartbeat. You sure shit did, lady. No, I'm already inside. Why would I why would I want to do that? Boys and girls, ladies and gents, this is a very special show. The final Runaway 5 show here at the Tapala. Please, please, please don't miss this once in a lifetime chance to see their show. All right, let's check it out. Welcome to the final Runaway 5 performance at the Tapala Theater. He didn't seem quite near, quite as excited this time. It's going to be a great show. We're so good it makes me think that those kids by the exit will wet their pants. Those kids are hip, baby. We're so hip we wet our pants <laughs> at a Blues Brothers show. I mean, one way five. They're the, Blue, they're the Blues Brothers, let's, let's be honest. They're the Super Mario Brothers as the Blues Brothers. The only real problem is that Luigi's not wearing green. Uh-oh, they ran off stage. Oh, shit! I got a hot girl! At least, I think she's supposed to be hot. That's what the pixels seem to indicate. And now they're dancing with her. 
Aw, oh, dude! Giving her the finger cuffs! Aw, oh, shit, son! Spit roast that bitch! And now there's a bus on stage! What is even going on? Oh god, they left the rest of the band behind! You know what I think just happened? I think Mario and Luigi are gonna take that bitch around the world. In the back of their tour van. That is... that is obscene. And should not be in this game. Just... just disgusting. Ah, you're a friend of the Runaway Five. Did you come to see Miss Venus? Ah, that's who that is. Come inside quickly. Heh <laughs> heh, come. Inside. Quickly. Heh <laughs> heh. Don't let the other fans see you enter. Hello? Oh, you're just a little kid. I'm too busy right now to give you my autograph. Maybe next time, little man. Whatever, bitch. You, you realize how much money this fucking theater owes me? I am a patron. You will do whatever I want. And I want some nasty things, baby. Yeah. You think about it. Think about it. Did you say anything else? Nope. This guy doesn't even talk. Kind of nice that the patrons get their own individual seats separate from everybody else. Oh, I can't see the Runaway 5 here anymore? I should dump this sorry excuse of a man and become a Runaway 5 groupie. I heard Venus made an appearance at the Runaway 5 show. I missed her because I went to the bathroom. I'll hate bathrooms for the rest of my life. <laughs> Do you say the same thing? Yep. Didn't think your dialogue would change, but since we're in the area, why not check in on you? Oh, hi. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah, sure. No, I don't want to buy a ticket. What the hell am I going to do? I guess I could see Venus. Oh, hi. You're, you're new? I heard the department store finally reopened. Hope they have a Bafo sale. What the fuck is a Bafo? Oh. Hey, he's got something new. I heard they couldn't find the buried gold. Those guys worked really hard, but all they got was a diamond. So I think people's dialogue changed. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to go around and talk to people. But, uh... Yes? Yes? Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. It may be none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No. Ah, I see. Well, it doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. Beep. Seriously, Nintendo, what is this hard-on that you have for making people, like, quit playing your games? Like, it's really bad in games now, but even back then they would do that shit. Like, what the hell? Don't you want me to play your fucking game? Nope, apparently not. Quit fucking playing our game! Assholes. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and stay at the hotel. Alright, he's not making anything. What the hell, Neil? Come on! Get with the program! Alright, newspaper man who, you know, does the unique service that none of the other hotels do, even though they all do it. On the front page, on the front page of the four side post, still the same thing. What an interesting paper. Yeah, Venus didn't care, buddy. I tried. All right, let's talk to Dad. I definitely don't need all that money. Well, yeah, actually, I do need money. I'm going to the department store. I need all the money. God, 
God, this is more money than I know what to do with. Oh, see, I... I don't even know how many freaking digits it is. It's so much. Alright. We'll go ahead and save again now that I picked up the money, just so... I don't have to do it again. If, like, my power goes out or something. Which, by the way, if that happens, there will be a cut in the episode real soon. Alright. Let's go check out this department store. That sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> Alright, department store, thrill me! Oh, I can buy tickets here. Oh, I see. You're not the customer. I didn't say her dialogue from the beginning because I figured it was just going to be a bunch of bullcrap. Would you like to return something? No. Oh, that's good. Please stop by again. It's a mouse. Somehow, I feel like the lights will get turned off in the department store. I guess it's just a mouse's sixth sense. I guess. <laughs> Whatever, mouse. You keep right on keeping on, buddy. It's a food cart. Hello there, how would you like to buy some seasonings that go great on your food at mealtime? These are not just your average seasonings. Whenever you try to eat something, the seasoning will automatically sprinkle on your food. It's really almost magical. What would you like? Nothing. Thank you. Everything's so expensive. Should I return to my hometown? I guess... Why not? Oh, hey, you! Cool! Shh, don't talk too loud. What you want? Aw, oh, dude, hyper beams. Fuck yes. I am buying a Pokemon that shoots hyper beams. Ah, fuck. Yes! Sell. There's an alternative solution to this. Broken spray can's just gonna make another defense spray. Alright, uh, bye. Hyper beam. Yep, I'm gonna sell the old... Actually, I don't think I can sell the laser gun. Nope. Uh... Yeah, let's sell some more stuff. I know I have plenty of items that need to be sold. Yeah, we'll sell that. And we'll sell the silver bracelet here. No, I'll keep the rust promoter. I'm not worried about a better price, I just want to keep it. I changed my mind. I can do that. It's okay. Um... No. Shit, man. That's a pretty good upgrade. I just wish I could sell the laser gun. Hello, may I take your order? Smile, smile. What can I get for you? Nothing at the moment, thank you. I think I'm pretty good on food anyway. I got a double burger there, a hamburger. Yeah, I think I'll be okay. Mm, man, I'm so busy. Don't bother me, kid. Gosh, people are such dicks to kids. Being a dick to children, that's my superpower. Tool! Hi, can I help you? So what are you gonna buy? Ooh, gold bracelets. Sweet. That'll be Lisa. She'll equip it. Go ahead, buy the deluxe fry pan. Gold bracelet. The fox, equip it. Go ahead. Man, that shit's expensive, but it's worth it. Uh, did you have anything else? 
No, just a bunch of junk. Nope. Alright, you don't have anything. Nobody has a bat? Let's check this last floor. I want to save up some money and go to Summers or somewhere else to relax. Sports, I'm guessing you sell the bats. Hey dudes, it's summer! It's the manly time of year! Time for sports, guys! What can I do you for? So what'll it be today? None of that's an upgrade? Huh. Alright. Oh, so you're skipping school too, right? Well, yes, but that's beside the point. When I grow up, I want to work for Ape as a programmer. Do you have any connections with those guys? No. Oh, you didn't have to answer. It was dumb of me to ask you that question. Let's see what he says when I say yes. The same thing. That's good. That's good dialogue writing. Trick yo-yo. I have a feeling the defense ribbon is better. I almost feel like I have enough money to find out. Oh wait, no, I don't need to. Because I just moused over it, and that is not the case. Alright, um... I'm gonna buy a teddy bear. I need to start using these. The item shield is really nice. I'm looking kind of bad on inventory space, although I do have plenty on Lisa, so I think I'll be fine. She'll just be our mule. Alright, well, there's not really anything else to do here, is there? I don't think there was anything else I wanted to buy. Let's just drop off my money now while I'm, like, right next to an ATM and can remember. And let's, let's keep a little bit in reserve. 25 bucks, that's good. That'll... I'm gonna say it again! That'll cover any expenses I run into. We'll see if it's true this time. Alright. So let's go ahead and get out of here. I mean, it's cool and all. Got me a lot of good upgrades. Can't really complain there. But, uh, I think we're quite d Oh, you fucking m- OH GOD, WHAT THE HELL?! Lisa? Lisa! LISA! Your attention, please. Would the customer from Onnet, Mr. Fox, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor? That was Customer Fox, fourth floor office. Aw, oh, fuck.